very excited about this one. It's one of those great discoveries, I think. We found it here in a place called Solomon's, right? Yes. And it's called? Anne Marie Sculpture Garden and Art Center. A lot of words in a row, so I had her do it for me. And I gotta tell you, when you come to this place, it is exciting. And I'll tell you why. It's indoors, it's outdoors, it's mm -hmm. all around. And we start in a sculpture garden area here. Give me a little rundown on what happens here. Well, we do a little bit of everything here. We bring together art and nature. We have activities inside and outside, but the idea is to get you connected and engaged to nature, um, to celebrate creativity in many different forms. We like to say that we embrace creativity from beautiful works of art, mm -hmm. like this right behind us by Engman, all the way to fairy houses and small things that children have made. We're really close to the water here, yes, aren't we? Yes, right down. So the water has an influence on the exhibits here also. Oh, yeah, Solomon's definitely does. This whole maritime community, it informs a lot of our activities and programs, exhibits, like you'll see inside mm -hmm. in the ebb and flow exhibit. Um, a lot of the festivals that we support all the time. Oh, and we love crab cakes. <laughs> <laughs> Who I gotta it? mention the crab cakes. You can find those in Solomon's. That's excellent. <laughs> yeah. So we, we walk through the gardens, the outdoor portion of this, and we go sort of counterclockwise around it. And how many different pieces do we see? And do they change? Oh, they do change a bit. Uh, some of the sculpture, the larger pieces, tend to stay longer. Um, I know there's about 35 pieces of sculpture, but hidden in the woods are, I don't know, 60 or 70 small fairy houses, and those change every year and you'll see those as we go. And they're sort of hidden because the fairies are shy. So you discover them? Yeah, yes, of course. You discover yeah. them as you go. And let me tell you, all ages like this. I've seen adults giggle about the fairy <laughs> That's houses. Great. So, yeah. I walked in the front door and I, you know, I'm talking about outdoor sculpture gardens, so I'm thinking about that. But the exhibits inside the building, two floors of them, mm -hmm. are fantastic. So on the first floor, it looks like there's a lot of water influence. There is. This summer, our two exhibits are Ebb and Flow, The Power of Water, and upstairs it's called Folksy, and it's a folk art exhibit. The exhibits in the arts building rotate um, throughout the year, but our summer is our high season, so we always make sure we have really spectacular exhibits during the summer. So I'm talking to Stacy when I come in, and one of the most exciting things about all this beautiful art is not only does it change all the time, but if you come here, there's gonna be stuff here that you would like to buy. I wish I had, and you know what? There's a price tag on this stuff, and there's, there price, tag, there's price tags you can afford. There I mean, are. some fantastic, a... beautiful pieces. Yep. And it's also exciting to see the children being involved here. Like, there's a little section here where I saw a whole bunch of kids. I saw paints, I saw colors, and creating an interest in art also. That Yeah, that's the art lab. That's a drop-in creative reuse center. We take um, recycled and repurposed materials and use them as art supplies. And the reason we do that is to raise awareness about um, how about trash and plastic use? You'll find corks and bottle caps and all kinds of weird odds and ends in there. Mm -hmm. And it's all about uh, educating people about the environment to reduce our waste. You're talking about an art place, you're talking about sculpture, artists, and you know, you think so, some people regard it as serious, but there's so much humor in, in the art. I, I'm, there, I'm glad you, I'm glad you that you noticed that. I yeah. hope you saw the triple sheep when you came in, the oh, very yeah. colorful piece. Yeah. We, we like to think that we're whimsical. We yeah, have some whim word. whimsical art. Yeah. Um, hopefully we'll walk past the fairy lolly, oh, which is will. a creative yeah. play space. So yeah, there is humor, there is whimsy, um, and I think that's perfectly at home in an art center. How do the people who work here not buy something and take something home every oh, week? Oh, we do. Oh, not every week, <laughs> but we do. Oh yeah. Well, an arts fest is a big arts festival we hold in September, yeah. and um, yeah, I, I buy things every year. You know, I love going to the places we go, but I recommend, boy, if you get in this part of the country, you definitely have to visit this place. The name of the garden again is? Anne Marie Sculpture Garden and Art Center. I told you there's a lot of words, that's why she does it. You could for shorten me. it to Anne Marie. Just go, that's easy. You got it.